a group of us met with Congressman Oliver on February 9th when we had a good opportunity to tell him about some of the things that we were doing, and he was able to tell us about some of the difficulties in the legislative process and offer some suggestions for what we might do. The following are some of these. Goodness. <laughs> I'm, uh, I think you will probably all understand that we have come out of the dark ages as far as science, at least we hope we have. Uh, the, the, the ignorance about science and the denigration of science over the last eight years has been really overwhelming. Uh, the old hockey stick that you showed us early on, which has been known for quite some period of time, uh, had been characterized by the head of the, the, um, the well, the, simply as a hoax, simply as a hoax, that there was no such thing as, as, uh, as, as a human influence over the CO2 production in the, in the world, uh, by the person who was the head of the uh, 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 environment and infra the infrastructure uh, committee on the Senate side, nothing could get through the Senate, but of course nothing could get through the House either when in the, with the majority as it was. I don't know. I, a little, little, little thing uh, that you might be interested in, Charles Darwin and, uh, and Abraham Lincoln were born on the same day, February 12th of 1809, and uh, they didn't die on the same day, although fairly close to each other, I think that uh, I think that Darwin only lived into the 1860s as well. Um, I I have a little bit more to look into on that. My impression is that um, that uh, that Darwin, for all his good works, uh, we have the Republican Party has been uh, uh, just about a. Uh, in regression rather than in evolution. To comment on this, Isaac Newton uh, was born on December 25th, which is the same day another illustrious person was born. <laughs> <laughs> and someone proposed a song, The Ten Days of Newton. <laughs> well, in the case of uh, Lincoln and, and, uh, and Darwin, that was the same day in the same year, so in any case, just to be, just to be, just to be clear about that. Uh, in any case, in my experience, by the way, I serve on the uh, Interior Subcommittee of Appropriations, which includes EPA. EPA has been just so degraded over the last few years, and uh, now we have, under the Obama administration, we have directions to EPA to to uh, approve the California uh, auto emission standards so that California and about 13 or 15 other states, most of them in the Northeast, but several out there on the West Coast as well, can go ahead with a much stronger set of emission standards that will drive uh, the auto industry, uh, if, the, uh, if the auto industry is drivable these days. We went on with some good discussions for at least another hour, and I think this was very profitable. We got to know each other better, and I think this will lead to future interactions, which will, benef will be beneficial to us all.